Hi everyone, I'm Omar and today I will show you a game-changing tool for all your presentations, ChatGPT for PowerPoint. This AI-powered add-in will help you to create slides in a faster way and with more creativity. Stick around to see how this can change the way you work in PowerPoint. So here I am in PowerPoint and I want to create a presentation here using ChatGPT. And in order to do it, I need to use an add-in because this feature is not automatically built in in PowerPoint. So I will go into add-in and I will type ChatGPT for PowerPoint. I will press on add. And here I have the window of the add-in open. And it's basically showing me how this add-in works. You can go through these tips here one by one to understand more about the add-in. Then here in this window, you can see that you can create presentation using different sources. Either you can create it from topic where you basically type the topic that you want the presentation about and then it will create the presentation or from a text where you can create a presentation out of it or create from YouTube where you can use a specific YouTube video to get a PowerPoint presentation out of it or create from file where you can get the inputs from a Word file or PDF or so on to create a PowerPoint presentation. So I will choose to create from topic because it's creating a presentation from scratch but you can of course use also the other ones and check how powerful they are. Here I can type the topic that I want to create a presentation about. So let's say sea creatures. From here I can choose the presentation language and I can select from many languages as you can see. I will stick to English. Number of slides. I can use up to seven slides for free, but if I want to get more, I need to have the pro version of it. You can first check in this tool, and if you like it, maybe you would like to get the pro version of it. But if you're just working on basic things for a few times, maybe the free version is fine for you. So I will select seven slides. I'll go to advanced options, content. I can either have it detailed or short. I will stay with detailed. Image source is from where ChatGPT will get the images. It's either from Unsplash or Pixels. I'll stay with Unsplash. And here in Advanced AI, it's again a pro feature that creates more complex slides using different languages and so on. But for now, let's continue with the free version. And as you can see, here's the presentation outline suggesting the seven slides for this presentation. First one is the title, sea creatures, and then the types of sea creatures, underwater ecosystem, endangered sea creatures, adaptations of sea creatures, amazing facts about sea creatures, and intercontinences of sea life. And this looks fine for me, so I press on continue. Now I need to choose the template. Of course, these templates are not very beautiful, so I can choose any of them and then later play with the design make it more colorful, use different things, pull in more data, more pictures. But for a starter, having PowerPoint slides created from scratch will save a lot of time for me. So instead of creating from the beginning, I can only work on enhancing the design and editing some content and so on. So this saves a lot of time. So maybe let's choose the first template. Press on continue. And here it's creating the slides. And as you can see, the seven slides are created now. First one is with the title, Sea Creatures. You can, of course, add your name here, do some changes. Next one is the types of sea creatures, fish, gephalpodos, and marine mammals. Underwater ecosystem. Endangered sea creatures. So some of these endangered species and the factors for 
this danger on these creatures, adaptations of sea creatures, amazing facts, and then interconnectedness of sea life. This presentation looks perfect for me. Seven slides created from scratch. I can add a few more to them, add my name to the first slide, maybe pull in some more pictures, add some slides, but for sure it saved a lot of time for me by creating these ones. And it's of course better than starting with zero slides. That's it for the chat GPT for PowerPoint at end. If you found this tool helpful, let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. See you.